What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. The Note 7 is finally here, but it is still plagued with RAM management issues and lag issues. I'm gonna show you guys how to crank up the speed on the Note 7, which is a very capable device, and also fix some of that lag. Let's go ahead and get started. One thing that I noticed, especially in the Exynos version of the speed test, is that whenever you open an app and then go to other apps and then come back to that app later, the Note 7 actually reloads that application from scratch, which just takes a lot of time. Other devices like the Nexus 6P actually pause those applications in the background so that you can pick them back up from where you left off. It looks like Samsung is purposefully putting these applications to sleep to save on battery life. So you go into your settings, device maintenance, and then go to battery and you'll find this option down here, unmonitored apps. You actually have to add applications to the unmonitored list. Enabling these unmonitored applications would be the way to multitask. So you'll click unmonitored apps, add apps, and then any application that you don't want to be closed whenever you leave it, you would check here. All right, so now when I open up Asphalt 8, it'll load the first time. And then whenever I go back home and say I go to ESPN, and it loads, I go back home, and now when I go back to Asphalt 8, it'll just pick up where it left off. Same thing with ESPN. When I go back to ESPN, it'll just pick up where it left off. Next up is the most obvious way to increase performance on your Note 7 or any Android device for that matter, and that's to turn off transition animations. So you'll need to go into About Device, go to Software, Info, and then click on the build number seven times. Go back to your main settings menu and go to Developer Options. Scroll down to the window animation skill and turn it off completely. Same thing with transition animation skill, go ahead and turn that off completely. With the transitions turned off, things are just much snappier. As you can see, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 comes with lots of bloatware. Uh, you have all these Microsoft applications. I will never personally use any of these. So any of the extra bloatware applications, you can easily disable those so that they're not taking up resources in the background. Some of these applications launch at boot, and if they do so, they're taking up precious resources. So we'll go into settings, applications, and then find any application that you would like to disable. Excel's there, I'll go ahead and disable that. Go ahead and disable OneNote and any other applications that you know you don't need. Also, now would be the time to disable or uninstall any really high intensive gaming applications that you never open. So if you downloaded Asphalt 8 because it looked like a fun game, but you're no longer gonna use it, go ahead and uninstall that application. What you'll notice is from time to time, if you're not playing that application, you're gonna get notifications saying, hey, come back and play our game. It's actually running in the background, taking up precious resources. So all you'd have to do is grab it from the app drawer and uninstall it. Rebooting your phone can clear up much needed resources and also clear some of your RAM. Uh, but what if you could just schedule those reboots to happen every single night while you sleep? You can go into settings, go to this general management, go to reset, and then turn on auto restart and click it. And then you can set the time and days that you want it to auto restart. Uh, so make sure it is sometime when you're not going to be awake. So uh, one to three o'clock in the morning while you're asleep. And then you can also set the days. So it looks like they're only going to allow you to restart it once a week. You can't go through and select every day. You're gonna see some performance enhancements even by just rebooting it once a week. After applying those few settings, which you guys saw only took a couple of minutes, you're gonna notice a big difference when it comes to performance on the Note 7. Anyhow guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.